progressions 0, 3, 6, 9 the spiritual origins of fractals that's what we're going to talk about uh, in this video uh, fractals as we said are uh, uh, continuations of uh, the same uh, system that exists uh, the same shape uh, it just grows and grows and grows and grows and uh, repeats itself consistently or it reduces itself consistently consistently uh, if you look at it from the other uh, point of view until it gets back to where it was uh, in the beginning so where was it in the beginning so when you look at uh, a fractal system you're actually looking uh, at where it began in the dark universe uh, any existence that is a fract fractal form like for instance you see uh, leaves that are uh, formed in spiral as a spiral nature uh, you know definitely that they came out of uh, energy and that energy itself uh, is right there in the in the dark universe so it's from this energy that all of these uh, systems are uh, derived so here we are showing you the uh, spiral nature of uh, fractals and it is right here in patterns that Africans uh, make so Africans made the patterns uh, with spirals in them so they can tell you that uh, they are directly connected to, to spirit so spirals and spirit begin to give you a sense of what uh, fractals are and since you find fractals in spirals and the Africans are giving you this same uh, uh, spirals in art form in patterns you know therefore that fractals are connected to spirit and so therefore Africans know the mathematics that I'm talking about so who else is to teach you this mathematics if it's not an African like myself and that's the reason why I'm teaching it. So now let us look at these other systems here that are the concentric uh, uh, fractals. So you can see that fractals are not just in spiral form or in uh, square forms or in triangular forms, but fractals are also in concentric ring forms. And so that's what I'm showing you here now. Uh, as you look at these concentric rings, the Africans put in their patterns you are you can count six rings six rings just like I showed in the illustration up here six where why six six is very important like I said the numbers 0 3 6 and 9 are very important now you've already seen one of the videos in which I showed you that uh, six transforms into nine and then nine which is the inner which is something that keeps transforming itself into something else which again is what the fractal does it gives it keeps transforming in itself into something but remains the same then it transforms itself into something but it remains the same the same shape the same uh, qualities and so this is what you need to know fractals are nothing that a uh, secret and so why are africans associated with this mathematics well, the reason why Africans, an African like myself, who has to teach you this, teach your child, I know you are not going to get up and say, I'm going to learn this thing because you have a PhD or you have no uh, uh, high school uh, mathematics or anything like that, so you are scared. The reason why I have to teach your child this is because your child needs to know this particular kind of mathematics is for a child. Now, the question comes in that has to be very much emphasized here i'm now talking to kobe bryant who just won the nba i'm talking to serena and venus williams girls who are just uh, super uh, in tennis and then uh, tiger woods now these are three african brothers and sisters now i mentioned that the africans out there in the village is taking this powerful very powerful geometry which hardly most PhDs don't even understand and this very primitive African as they call us is taking these uh, mathematics and putting it as patterns here here here's the pattern you see it I just talked about those patterns Kobe Bryant you have that same intelligence why aren't you putting fractal geometry into the NBA why 
Tiger Woods, you have that same kind of intelligence. Why aren't you putting fractal geometry into golf? Serena, Venus Williams, you too have that kind of intelligence. Why aren't you taking that intelligence and putting it into tennis? All you have to do is sit down at night in your mansions and take a pencil and paper and begin to do something, begin to think. Begin to think to put this system on paper. That's all you have to do. You have the intelligence to do it. Why don't you do it? Because you are distracted. Because they have fooled you with money. And so you have sac mortgaged your intelligence, your own powerful intelligence for a couple of dollars. You want to be the next billionaire. Well, it's not about billions now, my friends. It's about what you leave behind. What are you going to leave behind? Nothing. The dollar goes away. Nobody knows about you. Leave something behind. Slaves who came here, African slaves, who invented the shoe-making machines, they are still remembered today. My own uh, distant relative, Benjamin Banneker, is still remembered today because that's the man who invented the clock here that ran on one engine but had four faces, showing times and, uh, of different uh, uh, regions. That's what you, you can do. Benjamin Banneker, he, did, he surveyed uh, uh, the uh, Maryland, uh, uh, Virginia, whatever, you know, wherever the White House is. He did the survey and put that particular White House where it is today and he embedded a code in it. Benjamin Banneker. And that's the reason why Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Benjamin Banneker, BBBB, the man left a code and he still remember today. Tiger Woods. Kobe Bryant, Serena Williams, you will never be remembered 50 years from now. Do something, you guys. Do something to be remembered. I'm Professor Mom. Look at what the Arabs and the Europeans did to us. They saw us working with complex uh, fractal geometry in the patterns that we did. They couldn't understand it. They said, we were enemies. Well, you saw the spiral that I showed you on the pre previous page, the waves. The, what do waves do? Waves are in animation. Animation. Spirals are in, in animation. Animation, that's where the word animist comes from. Anything that is dynamic is animated. And that's what spirit is. Spirit is animated. Spirit is dynamic. So these European Christians and Arab Islam came in and destroyed powerful sciences. And look at what they did to us. Because of their ignorance, they destroyed the universe. These people destroyed the universe. Look at them. And they bear no remorse for it at all. So now European Arab I am here to teach you. You were miseducated. The religion that a few. Now, you may say, I, I wasn't there. I don't bear responsibility. Yes, I hear you. But uh, your own people did that. And so if you continue to support them, then you are a criminal to that same act. So anyone, whether it's an African who is involved with these religions, uh, then you are also a criminal to that act. What we all have to do now is that the era has come in which a new kind of thinking has emerged. And I am the one teaching this thinking. I have the science, I have the know-how, and I am teaching it. Spirit is right here. It's no longer in hiding. So sign up. Sign up and learn and let us change this dynamics of what is, has destroyed us all as human. Your people go to Mali all the time and get information from, from my people. We don't hold back on giving information. But we, I have to now begin to talk to let you know that you have to use this information appropriately. And so I'm monitoring you. 
That's the reason why I have come up with it, uh, fractal equations and putting it on YouTube to counteract the ones that you are seeing there. So when you see the ones that Europeans are putting out there, is uh, they have no foundation, they have no connection to spirit, then you know that the, the real teacher is standing here to give you the other side of what this uh, science, so-called science, is giving you. I'm Professor Momo.